We often hear about the negative experiences of uh, residents of the downtown east side with respect to the Vancouver Police Department. But I also um, have uh, heard of, of certain cases where their experience with the VPD has been positive. We respond to a lot of crisis, intervention, calls, and experiences of violence. Uh, that day, we had a young woman, um, quite young, 17 years old, that came in and reported um, uh, domestic violence. What I received initially was there were mutual allegations of assault. And having been the police officer for a number of years, uh, right away I'm thinking uh, domestic violence. Me and my partner got into a fight, an argument, uh, supposedly physical. And, yeah, but then the police were called and... Uh, she explained what happened and she wanted to charge him. So um, I called Sister Watch for her and she um, gave her statement um, to the police when they came here. And then also um, the young man uh, wanted to um, take ownership and responsibility of his actions straight away. I quickly determined that what had happened was uh, there was some sort of uh, domestic argument which occurred uh, over on the east side of uh, Vancouver. I, I quickly found out that it was uh, the young man who had come to the station and involved his young uh, girlfriend. Staff sergeant at first was told me that we're here for you. It's like he was being more relaxed than I ever seen a police officer ever do. Like three of them. They're old guys, they just sat down, they said we've been there, we've done that. They've been in similar situations and but what actually surprised me that they brought us some traditional tools. And it was a kind of a big surprise. A smudge bowling medicines and that and never ever expected police officers to actually do that and just made me feel good that I can actually trust police. I've been trusting the police for the last year after noticing that they're trying to change their ways, they're trying to change the force a little bit. They're trying to bring in some traditional stuff into incidents like mine. He just done it a traditional way. He said, let's clean you off and let's go move on with a good day. She's going to be somewhere over there and you're going to be over here. And you guys just have your breathing time. If it wasn't for those two, I'd probably be drinking my life away. What's remarkable, it saved lives. The, uh, down here, it's life and death. It's a war zone do down here. People die, are dying every day of either uh, not just from the drugs and alcohol, but being in that environment, being exposed to violence, being exposed to uh, the violent acts of uh, the people that are down here. And if we can save two people down here, very young people who have so much potential, then we're successful. Uh, so they can call the Sister Watch line uh, anonymously without fear of being uh, stigmatized or stereotyped. Um, it's no secret that down in town, it's no secret that down here in the downtown east side, people who uh, sometimes call the police for assistance can be branded in negative ways and uh, lead to some dangerous situations. I'm probably just telling them, yeah, just do what you have to do. They're there to listen. They're there to protect and serve. They're not there to be assholes or... I really acknowledge and appreciate all the good work that um, Chief Jim Chu is initiating and with his new vision and a new way of policing. It has greatly impacted members of the downtown east side. And uh, I can see the changes already with saving lives. I just wanted to acknowledge that and appreciate that. Thank you. Miigwech.